everybody. This is Melanie. Welcome back to Crafting Chaos with Melanie. I hope everybody's doing good today. I am super excited about this video. I have been planning this video for several months and I had actually asked the question in a couple, uh, I would say at least a month ago in a video, what you would like to see on a tag flip album. And um, I had somebody, Regina, who wanted to do a 4th of July. So I was like, okay. So I waited a little bit till we got past Easter. Um, I just couldn't get in the mood, but I'm there now. So let me show you what we're going to do. I did start a prototype, and it is not finished by any means, but it's, it's getting there. I'm actually going to finish this. So what does that mean? That means that the one that we make on camera, I will be giving away. So I will pick a random person with the comments in the next two to three videos, however long it takes us to do this. Um, I know it'll be at least two videos. It could possibly be, possibly be three. So make sure you leave a comment, like, and share the video. And when we get done with the book, I will be sending that book out to a special viewer. So I'm super excited about that. So this is just the sit I started. I started this one just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do. Isn't this pretty? Look at this. I have to show you. I made a shaker, of course. But anyway, so this is kind of the premise that we're going with. I wanted it to be larger because I want you to use your photos. And I have found, especially for someone that's kind of new, if it takes a lot of cropping, um, a lot of, you know, different sizes, you tend to not use it. And I want you to use it. Whoever gets this, I want you to be able to use. And I want the pictures to be large enough that you can see. So what you're going to need for this, I'm using 110 pound cardstock. This is Recollections from Michaels. And the paper collection that I'm using is God Bless America um, by Cartabella. Now, this is from last year. I did not buy a new paper pack this year. Um, I know there are several out, and I'll try to find this one and link it. If I can't, I'll find the new Cartabella for this year. But um, I wanted to use what was in my stash. Um, and then this one right here, the prototype, is actually a close to my heart collection and I might make several of these for family members because this is such a fun project to do and when you get organized you can really whip them out. Now there's several different ways that you could do this mini album. Um, you could do it if you had tag. Maybe you have some tag dies and you'd like to do it that way. Uh, maybe you have a Cricut and you would like to do it with your Cricut, then, you know, if you want, if this inspires you to do it, do it however you want. I wanted to do just a basic tag album where you could do on your own without any dies, okay? So that is what we're going to do today. Now, in the description below, I will link the measurements that I'm using, okay? I did come up with some measurements. Um, if you want to screenshot this, you can, but I will make sure in the description that you have the measurements of the tag base and the mat that I use for these tags, okay? So we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six. We're doing six tags. They measure a quarter of an inch difference. So we start out with a five by eight, and from that five by eight, we're gonna go down a quarter of an inch each one, okay? I am gonna be using the We Are Memory Keepers um, Corner Chomper. This is the one that has the angle and the photo, and we are gonna be using the angle today. And I think that is all that we're using today besides glue and this paper trimmer. Okay, I did get a little bit of a head start. Um, I did cut all these mats except for the last one. And I just wanted to show you real quick what I did. Okay, so what you need to do is start out with your first one and it's five by eight. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna cut five by eight. I am using the Tim Holtz um, trimmer. I think this is the precision trimmer. It's not the rotary. I'm still liking it. You do have to change the blade. It does get, um, if you get a lot of paper in this, it does tend to um, fray the paper a little bit. That's okay. 
I'm all right with it. I just changed the, I changed the um, blade. So we're gonna go here five by eight. Okay. All right. And then what I did is I wrote on here. This is the five by eight. Let's see. Where's my pencil? Okay. So I wrote on here that this is five by eight. So I cut that one. Then I cut four and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And then I cut four and a half by seven and a half. I put, cut four and a quarter by seven. Then I cut, oh wait, this is by seven and a quarter. I hope that's by seven and a quarter. Let me double check this one. Yeah, it is. Then I cut three, or I'm sorry, four by seven. And then I cut the last one three and a quarter by six and three quarters. Um, so these are the, the measurements of the tags. Now when you look at this, this is not a tag form. You could do this several different ways. Um, if you don't have a, um, we are memory keepers angle, you could just cut one. I'm just going to use this as an example. You could just come down here and cut it, right? And then take that piece and lay it over here like that and cut it. And that will give you the angle. I got it off just a little bit. And then you can just proceed to do that. Just hold it up and do it, okay? Um, I'm not really good at that. I'm just going to be honest with you. And if you're a crafter and you do not have the We Are Memory Keepers crop doll, these are so worth investing. The original one I've had since it came out, I, I want to say 15 years. So um, that's what I'm going to be using. So all I'm going to do is go through all these and we are going to corner chomp the ends. Okay. So here we're just going to go through and look at that. You got a tag. We're just going to go through really quick and chomp these. I have to ask, does everyone love the 4th of July? I love the 4th of July. It is a holiday that I never work on, and I don't know why. I, well, I do know why. My son's birthday, Jeremy, and my husband's birthday is the 3rd. So Craig is always off work, and I just don't work. Usually we're in Virginia for the 4th of July, so... I don't know what that entails this year. All right, so now we have this. So let's just put them back in order. So the four and three quarters, four and a half and a quarter. Okay, now, now we have to chomp a hole in these. All right, so this is what I did, guys. It's so simple. I literally just kind of lined them up and put them down, All right? So that's the first two. And I'm getting my corner, my other We Are Memory Keepers. You just need a hole punch of some kind. And I have this Mac Daddy one. I don't know what is on it. I have this Mac Daddy one that I have on my desk. And I'm going to use the quarter inch hole. You can use a hole punch, um, an eyelet setter, whatever you got. So I'm just eyeballing it. And I'm going to go in here about half, a little bit down. And there you go. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this, I'm going to line it up the way I think it should go. I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to cut it. There we go. Okay going to do the same thing there's really not like rocket science to this I'm just eyeballing it wait a minute I got the wrong one you do need to make sure you get the right one this is just not you know this isn't rocket science so now I'm going to go ahead and get this one I'm going to do two at a time and I'm going to get that one down there if you look they're lined up pretty good right I'm going to flip it And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to do the hole. Okay. 
now. Take this one and do the hole. Guys, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just doing it. It's handmade. It's okay if it's off a little bit. All right, so now we got that done. Okay. So now we have all of our tags made, right? Now, what I did on the prototype is I splattered them. I took Catherine Puller ink. I did dress blues and red, rock and red, and I just put them in my little box and I splattered them. Do you see that? I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not sure I'm going to do it on this one. I haven't decided yet, but that is something that we can go back and do. What I am going to do is ink the edges. I want to ink the edges. So we are going to get um, a blending tool, and I'm going to get Dress Blues by Catherine Puller. Um, I feel like this will go enough with it. Let's pull this over here. Yep, I think it'll go. It'll highlight it. It's a little bit different shade of blue, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through here and we are going to ink these edges really quick. Okay, so I'm going to ink these edges and I'm going to get Craig to speed this up. And when I come back, we will start with the base pages. we are back so now what we're going to do is take our paper and choose what paper we want to use um, I told you this was going to be a lot more of a process video um, for this and not just a share so I hope you like it I kind of have an idea of what I want to do so let's get this paper pack out we have a really nice sticker sheet that we will definitely utilize. I absolutely love this rocking chair. And this, oh my goodness, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so this is the paper that we have. We have, this came with, how many sheets? I don't know, it's 12 double-sided sheets. And I had some extras I must have ordered from scrapbook.com. Um, which proved to be good. So here's the paper that we have. Are you kidding me with this paper? Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Look at that. And then let's flip it over. And this is the paper that you have on these. Look at that. Look at this one right here. Isn't that cool? Okay, the reason these papers are out, these are the papers that I've chosen for the book. So I do have that. So let me put this over here because there are some papers I ha I'm not using. Um, let's see, that's all the... We have this one. Okay, these are our cut-aparts. We definitely want to get out the cut-aparts. The flag. This one's really cool, but I'm saving this. Um, I think this would be cool for a 12 by 12 or actually even to cut the flag out. We might cut some of those flags out. And here's another cut apart sheet. So we have four by fours, four by six, and then we have three by fours. Well, this is a mixture. So that's, that's our sheet. So I'm going to put the cut aparts aside. I'm not going to do anything with these today. Um, I will probably off screen cut all these up and there's definitely some here that I know for a fact I will be using. Okay, so I'm going to put these to the side. These are the papers that I've chosen for the book. I love these papers. I think they're beautiful. And what's so great is the back side. If you want to split it up and do like a two-tone paper like this right here. And that's exactly what we're doing with this one because that's going to be the cover. 
Okay, so now I'm going to put them in the order that I want them. I know this is going to be my front cover, okay? So I'm going to pull that to the side. That is my front cover. Let's do it this way. And then I'm going to do a red, okay? So that's two. That's page two. Then let's do a stripe. That's page three. Let's do some blue. That's page four. Let's do this. That's page five. And the Stars and Stripe, page six. This one, we might use, um, hmm, do I want to use this one or this one? Oh, my goodness, look at that print. Oh, these are, oh, this is hard. This is so hard. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, this is so hard. All right, we're going to stick with this. I like this, okay? What do you think? I know you guys are screaming at the, cam at the camera because I do love this. I think I'm going to go with the polka dots and the stripes. I love that. And the back side of it, we can actually fussy cut some of these out. Okay. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So whenever we're doing these, the front cover is going to be your smallest. So we're going smallest to largest whenever you put this together. Okay. So. We are going to start at the bottom here. So this is page one, page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six. Okay, so page one, I need three and three quarters by six and three quarters. So let's get this out. I probably should have done this off camera, but I, I, I don't know. I just wanted to do most of this on screen. All right, so we're going to do... Where is it at? Right here. All right, we're going to do three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Right. By six and three quarters. So we're going to come over here and do six and three quarters. All right, whenever you do this, what I'm going to do is put it with that. Does it look like it's going to fit? Oh no, 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 no. I did it wrong. We're doing three and a half. You gotta take that quarter inch off. Were y'all yelling at me just now? By six and a half. And the six and a half mark on this, I had to get out a ruler and measure it. And I'm gonna get it out again just to make sure. Oh, I know that's loud. Just to make sure I get the right measurement. This is inches, right? Okay. So let's go here. Let's go right here. Wait, that's an inch? Well, that's not right. Yeah. So six. All right. Okay, so three and a half. So three and a half, I think I should stop by six and a half. So this is about six and a quarter. So I'm gonna come off my thing right here and do this, six and a half. And then I'm gonna hold this up, perfect. After you cut this, what you're going to do is you're gonna take your angle again and we're gonna angle this. Right, we have to angle each one that we do so we can line this up. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? That is going to be so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got page one. All right. And I'm just going to put these here because we will use these. Guys, you can make so many albums with this. It, it It's just endless on what you can do with this. Okay, so let's put this up. All right, so we're going to go to our next one. Our next one's three and three quarters. Three and three quarters by six and three quarters. So we're going to go here to six and three quarters. All right. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go through and do this, and I'm going to let Craig speed this process up just a little bit um, so you can you can, this video won't be so long, okay? All right. Okay, 
we are back. All I did was go through and cut all these um, mats. And now we're just going to put these here. I really like that. Should we? I love this. Now we're going to go with the side. I might pull that side in with a pocket or something. All right. For some reason, I don't like this side. I don't know why. It's the fireworks side, and it was my least favorite paper. Was that fireworks? It's crazy. Okay. All right. So now we have that. So this is all of our. mats and we're just going to go through and we're going to glue these on so this part of the video I'm just going to go through I'm going to glue all these on and I'll meet you back in just a second We have all these done. Now we're just going to go through real quick and we're going to go to the back side of this and we are going to hole punch this. So I'm just lining it up and we are going to hole punch. Now I will tell you, I wish I had went down just a little bit further, but it'll be all right. Let's see what we got. We have the base made, right? Oh, these are going to be so pretty. And we are going to use a binder clip to put this together, and we're going to be using ribbon. So I'll get the ribbon out for the next video. All right, guys, this is where we're going to stop today. Um, so let me spread this out. So this is where we're at. In the next video, we're going to start decorating and adding spots for your pictures. Again, I will have all this linked below, or not linked, I will have the measurements in the description below so you can have that. And I will link this paper pack if I can find it. Okay? All right, guys, I can't wait to finish this up. We'll see you next time. You guys have a great day, and remember to like, subscribe, and comment to be entered in the giveaway. See you next time. Bye.